Hey everybody, Skylar here. Today we're going to be looking at probably the first lock that really ignited my interest in the mechanical security side of lock picking. I enjoyed picking locks, I did pretty well at it, and I learned about a few different locks, but nothing really took my breath away, like the M-Heart interlocking pin cylinder. Now, early on I managed to get my hands on a fairly straightforward, closed-bodied job, but what I want to show you today is my cutaway. So this lock both lifts and rotates its pins, similar to a Medeco, and the pins, rather than working with a sidebar, are actually coupled into one another, locked into one another, and when they're lifted and rotated to the right position, they can decouple. So let's have a quick look at the actual operation of the lock. The m key on closer inspection is not only cut to slight angles, but it also has these big notches cut out of the bottom of it. Now, these notches have to be in place because the cylinder itself is notched, and we'll show you why in just a minute. So, fairly take key away, and the action of it is always very strong on M-Hearts. I've never had an M-Heart where I felt like it was going to give way easily. So, we're just going to have a look at the third pin chamber with the key partially out of the lock, you're going to see that there are two pins interlocked with one another, and then when we push in fully, they're now all at the right height and the right rotation to decouple from one another. So, little tracks in the plug of the lock allow the tips of the driver pins to stay in place so they can recouple with the key pins when they come around. Now here is the bottom of the key coming around with its gaps cut out for the same reason. And now here are the key pins coming back into alignment. Pretty cool little lock. It's a great concept for a number of different reasons. One, it's just damn clever. But the other big one is that with Medico or... Uh, multi-locks, new MT5+, plus, or and any of these different high security locks that add secondary or tertiary locking mechanisms, typically there's enough slop that you can focus on one of the mechanisms at a time. So you can rotate a Medico and then attack the heights. And I'm not saying that, that is by any stretch easy, but the very clever bit about the m hard interlocking is that the height and the rotation both have to be achieved in the same stroke. The rotation isn't as dramatic as a Medico, you can feel a lot of what's going on inside, but it is a very difficult uh, lock to open and a really clever method of integrating those two different motions without being able to separate them later on as an attacker. All right, I almost dread doing this uh, and we're not going to do it to the cutaway. We'll set this aside, but let's open up my full body. Okay, so as I was starting to pull apart the full body block, I forgot that you can't actually pull an M heart apart as simply as you can most other locks. Now, I don't want to deal with ripping this piece of brass up, and at the same time, all of the bottom of the driver pins will hold the plug in place because of the channel there. So what I'm going to do is deal with my cutaway instead of the full body lock because doing it like this, I should hopefully be able to just push my way in here and pull those driver pins up a little bit more. Now let me tell you, if I was at home watching this video, I would be flipping out at whoever was being this big of a goon and touching all of this stuff with a screwdriver and what I am probably going to do is actually very carefully rekey this later so that I can have the most pristine pins possible in my cutaway. So my strategy here has been to lift and misalign the driver pins so that they don't recouple because they're pretty strong. So there we go. So I was able to lift it and turn it slightly offline. 
Um, these are very heavy springs, and after the debacle that was our attempt to disassemble and reassemble that LSL lock last time around, I'm going to be very conservative and just drop a single set of pins. All right. So we have one key pin and one driver pin and one spring, and we're gonna go close up here and I'll show you exactly how they interlock with one another. The very small notch cut out of the key pin corresponds to the very small peg sticking out of the driver pin. And when they are assembled, the chisel tipped pin has to be both lifted and rotated in order to decouple these two bad boys. So I hope you see why I fell in love with the M Heart. Um, and unfortunately, they're much harder to come by now. Remember when I said that they lift and rotate like a Medico? Well, that wound up getting them into some legal trouble. I don't have the actual court documents. Uh, I should look into that at some point. It's a story that I'd love to know more fully. But the shortest version and the best accuracy that I can provide is that the security division of the Emhart company, the, the end of it dealing with locks specifically, ceased to exist as its own entity, but the technology, the Emhart locks continued to be produced or at least the parts for them so that they could be maintained. So you're not going to find one on a store shelf ever, but they're still kicking around. Um, and if you have one that you need work done on, if you search real hard and you ask the right people, you can probably find the components to put it back together. All right. It's a beautiful lock. I'm very glad to get to show it to you. See y'all next week.